ladies, Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a She Modern review and doing a nail art design using some new products from She Modern. So without further ado, thank you She Modern for sending these out to me. So these are the beautiful um, powder addition to the ever-growing collection. Um, these ones are the sheer ones that have come out. So there's a beautiful range of rainbow colours. Um, and then we've also got um, a black, white and a grey. So there are all the colours there. There's 14 in the set so far. You can buy these in packs of four and you can mix and match your colours. Um, you know, just choose what you want. So I'm going to be doing a design with those. I'm also going to be using um, a milky white Born Pretty um, store gel. So you can do these over a white or a light base or you can do them on your natural nails if you wish to do so. But I thought it would be quite nice to do them on a, um, a sheer white base or sort of like a translucent one and um, in order for the um, pigments to stick to the nail I'm going to be using She Modern's glue gel so that's a gel product so you'll have to cure that in the lamp as well and then I'm also going to use a couple of different top coats so I've got a regular glossy top coat and then I've also got a matte top coat there by Born Pretty Store and I'm also going to be doing some nail stamping. So I've got a um, CADS plate here. So this is CADS Nature 14. It's a gorgeous um, sort of Asian um, landscape themed plate. So I'll be using that. And I'll be using a stamper. And I've also um, just got my Moira Black um, stamping polish. And to use the um, the sheer pigments, I'm going to be using a little um, brush that I've got here. But you can use any kind of um, brush that you have on hand. Um, it'd be good to have just like a little palette or something to decant them onto. You do only need a tiny amount. And I'm going to be trying to use as many colours as I can today in this design. So without further ado, I will continue with the design. Okay, so I've already done a coat of my gel base coat and I've cured that in the lamp. And then this is what the milky white gel from a Born Pretty store looks like. So it's a very, very sheer um, white polish. It's very like a sort of soft milky white color. And I'm just going to be doing one coat. So you can do a couple of coats on each nail curing in between. But for my design, I just wanted to do um, one coat only because I don't normally like my nail, um, you know, the sort of visible nail line showing when I have, you know, when I've got my nails painted. So I just wanted something to give me a little bit of coverage. So then this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and cure it. And then I'm going to be popping on a coat of glue gel. So this is a gel product as well. And you can find this at um, She Modern. I'll leave the direct link for you down below. So I'm just popping on a really nice thin even coat on all of the nails. Don't forget to cap that free edge as well. You can actually use this with um, foils and other glitters and powders and pigments too. It's a really great product. I really do enjoy using it. So as I mentioned before, you'll need a palette or something just to pop on your, um, you know, your powders. So these are all the ones I'll be using. Like I said, there are 14 available, 14 different colours currently available. And I'm going to use as many as I can. I actually don't end up using every single one in this design. But I tried to make it as colourful as I could and you'll see it right at the end anyway. This one is the sheer green. Then we've got orange. It's a really nice um, set of colours too. I think she's pretty much covered everything that you could want. So we've got a nice sort of purpley pink. I really like the navy blue colour. It's quite nice. This one's yellow. It's a nice happy colour. We've also got a white. So I thought I'd throw this one in the design just to see how it goes. So I'm just popping that one on as well. Now these have do have a fine nozzle on them. And, um, you know, you can just sort of tap it on the bottom just to get a little bit to come out. Now you just saw me with a cotton round. I've just put that aside just to kind of wipe the brush off in between. Now this is a dry application. It's going straight onto that glue gel that has fully cured, which always um, cures leaving a tacky surface. So this is what I'm um, popping the actual pigments onto. 
So I'm just taking a selection of them and you can try overlapping. They don't tend to blend that much um, with the overlapping because I think once it's gone on to the glue base, then that's pretty much where it's going to stay. So um, I'm just sort of like going into different areas there, trying to use a selection of colors that I like the look of. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to use another brush just to gently wipe that clean. And then that's the first nail done there looks really pretty just as it is on its own now you don't have to do nail art over these if you don't want to you can do sort of gradient nails things like that just use one color and you know just do a bit of a fade and ombre effect or something like that on your nails here you're going to see me um doing the second nail and i thought i would pop in a bit of the white powder on this one um i found it wasn't really obvious that it was there but um you know if you try putting another color over the top you just can't do anything so it is definitely doing something it's um and it kind of just whitened the area a little bit but it wasn't um obviously they're not really opaque so it's not going to give you a solid bit of color now i'm just going to be putting a bit of green and orange on this middle nail I'm getting quite fast to doing this process now i have actually sped this up because i don't want the video getting too long unnecessarily and you can see what i'm doing i mean if you've got any questions you're more than welcome to leave them for me down below but hopefully i am sort of explaining things um you know through the video now that middle nail i wasn't 100 percent happy with it so i decided just to do another coat of the glue gel cure that in the lamp and then just go over again with the orange i just found I don't think I put it on properly or it's really really sheer I'm not sure which you know where I'd gone wrong with it so I thought I'd just add a bit more and I wasn't happy with the um the placement of the pink and I felt like I needed a darker color so I thought I'd put a little bit of the blue on so you can actually do this you can do a second layer of the glue gel cure it and then add more of the colors and it will give you a more um opaque look rather than a really sheer look this is a little bit of a close-up of this um stamping plate I'll leave a link for um CAD's um, AliExpress store too for you for in, if you're interested in checking out what they have there so I'm just going to be popping on different parts of the um, image on my nails now I seem to have um, been running out of my black nail polish lately um, stamping polishes so I've decided to use my Moira foil um, polish and it's not actually that opaque so um, the black is a little bit washed out in this design but I think actually added to it I didn't really want anything jet black and I think this actually added to the overall effect now I decided to do this image on my nail in two stages only because the CADS plates I find sometimes the images are a little bit on the small side for some of my longer nails and so I thought if I do a split image with that one I could actually get the whole thing on the nail without there being too many gaps or anything like that so you can do that with images if you feel like they're not the right size for your um, nail if if it's sort of got a natural break in the image somewhere you can kind of split it up and, and sort of um, spread it out over the nail just so you can get a better cover of, of the nail rather than having a gap at the top and a gap at the bottom which don't really make sense but um, most of the images fitted well so I just sort of kind of carried on with the design but I'm using different images on each nail there's just so much to choose from on that plate and that's all of the nails done there now I did forget to mention I did put a coat of latex on I did actually remove that and just do a little bit of clean up with some sticky tape and the um, little bits of um, polish that I had on the, around the nails uh, on the skin just came off really easily and then I'm popping on a coat of the Madame Glam um, top coat curing that and then following it through with a coat of the matte top coat because I really wanted to mattify this um, design I'm really glad I did actually because I like the look of it and how it looked at the end it um, was kind of the, the the look I was going for so to speak so yeah um, I hope you like it anyway okay so I'm back with the final design and what do you guys think I'm really in love with these I just like doing um, landscape type scenery type minis um, something that you can kind of wear across the nails and each nail can be different but yet they all sort of come together now these sheer powders have worked amazingly with this type of design um, I'm sure you could use them in lots of other types of designs too but I really like how they've given a beautiful sort of watercolor effect um, without any effort at all so they've worked perfectly with the 
um, the glue gel and the colors have just come out so pretty. I really do like them. Now, I didn't use all of the colors in the end. Um, the ones I didn't use were black, gray, brown, and red. So, um, but the rest of the colors I have actually used there and I will obviously leave direct links for you to find these pretties on She Modern's website um, as well as all the other products that you'll find on She Modern's website there. Um, you know, collection of um, products continues to grow and I've actually never been disappointed with anything that I've um, used from them. Their powders and glitters and pigments are um, just absolutely stunning and very, very unique. Haven't seen any other companies using things, products like that, especially the, um, the foil glue, um, sorry, the glue gel and um, yeah, things like that. They're just really, really cool. Anyway, without further ado, if you've got any questions or comments, just leave them for me down below. I do love to hear from you. Once again, thank you to She Modern for sending these out. Um, they really are very, very pretty and they're gonna be a pleasure to wear on the nail, I'm sure. Um, I, if you haven't already done so, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free to do so and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.